we're going to draw the Lewis structure for iron 3 iodide, which is FeI3. Now, iron is a metal from the transition metal block of the periodic table. We're going to give it three valence electrons because in the name and in the formula, it's clear that iron has a charge of plus three in the end. Strategically, this means we're going to give it three valence electrons at the beginning of our Lewis structure drawing, just so that we can do the accounting for the electrons. Now, iodide comes from iodine, a non-metal on the periodic table. I know it's a non-metal because it comes from the right-hand side of that staircase that's often written in. And it's in group 17, which means it brings seven valence electrons with it. So I'm going to draw my eye with its one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Now, this is an example of a metal reacting with a non-metal, which is what's going to make an ionic compound. That means there's going to be a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metal. The metals want to give away all of their valence electrons, and the non-metals want a complete or full outer shell, usually of eight electrons. That's the octet rule. Now this iodine is only short by one electron. So I'm gonna draw an arrow from the iron, giving away one electron to one of the iodines. Now that iodine will have eight electrons, but iron still has two extras. Where are they going to go? Well, one option is that we have another iodine here with its seven, and another electron from iron can go to complete its octet. And then, like DJ Khaled says, another one. Another iodine, short one electron from its own complete octet, accepts one electron from the iron. By using three iodines to accept one each of iron's three valence electrons here, we end up with FeI3, or iron 3 iodide. The complete Lewis structure for this is an iron atom with no valence electrons written around it, that's no dots, and a plus three charge. The iodines, on the other hand, will have their seven valence electrons plus an extra for the extra one that it got from iron. Give it a minus charge because it has one extra electron. Now, officially, you should probably draw that out three times. If your teacher allows you to just write it once and then do times three, hey, go for it. It's a shortcut, and if you're allowed to do it, do it. But otherwise, I wouldn't risk it. I would just draw three of them, and this here is the complete Lewis structure. You did it. I knew you could. Congratulations, and best of luck.